how to create a media plan for your business so you can drive traffic and, and get new customers by the day. I'm going to share with you my promotional system for my business and I'm hoping that you can get some ideas out of that. So here's what I do. Right now, not including client work, I have about five hours total to work on my business. So the way I split it up is I do three hours, about three hours of content creation and then about two hours of content promotion. So it's two phases of the day and I set a timer so I can hold myself accountable for that three hours and those two hours. So during content creation, those three hours, which I usually do in the morning, I wake up really early and get this out of the way early. Here's how I split up content creation. I do two hours of writing, uh, 30 minutes of video, and then 15 minutes of graphics. Now, what you do may be totally different than that. Writing comes naturally for me, and it's the most it's it's my preferred medium. Maybe you're more of a podcast or video person. Maybe your plan will be an hour of video, 30 minutes of podcast, 30 minutes of writing, and 15 minutes of graphics. Uh, whatever feels right for your personality is is what's good for you. But I recommend making two or three hours a day, or it depends on how much time you have in a day, really. But carve out some time daily for creating content. Creating content has nothing to do with promoting it. Promoting it comes next. Usually for me, this comes in the afternoon. Now, what I do here, I can't. Even, I don't even have it memorized because it's so many different steps and details. It's a lot of different small steps that I have to do. But the bigger picture is that I have like five or six media channels that I'm focusing on building a presence in, um, and that includes email, um, Facebook, Twitter. LinkedIn, the blogosphere. There are some others as well. I also do Reddit, Quora. With each of these media channels, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, email, I have like three to five responsibilities that I have to do every day for these channels. Each responsibility is very small. It doesn't take a lot of my intellectual labor. Like for example, on Twitter, I have to follow a couple people and retweet a couple people that uh, re retweet some statuses I find interesting and tweet a couple things. And then, you know, I, I can move on to a different channel. For each channel, I have a list of daily responsibilities to maintain and grow my presence on. And I only pick the channels that are most important to me. And um, some channels only require a little tiny bit of maintenance each day. For for uh, for my presence on Quora, for instance, I simply go in there, I, I share one of my blog posts in there, and then I get out. I spend more time on email marketing than all the other channels. And I also spend a lot of time on, on the blogging channel because that's the one that I, that, I, that I like. So generally that's the strategy. I have the content creation aspect in the morning and the content promotion aspect in the afternoon. And the more creation, I have, the more I've written or created in the morning, the easier it is for me to promote things in the afternoon. The more things I have to share, the easier it is to share, by, like definitely. If I have videos and, and graphics and, and articles to share, my job, as a promotion promoter is pretty easy the, all the work all the hard work is done for me i hope you got some ideas out of that that you can apply to your media and promotional plan let me know if you have any questions